Pineapple production involves planting pineapple crowns or suckers in tropical regions, nurturing them for 18 to 24 months until they mature. Once ripe, they're harvested manually, processed through washing and packaging, then distributed for consumption as fresh fruit or processed products like juice and canned pineapple. are carefully managed to optimize grape quality with attention to factors such as soil quality, irrigation, pruning, and pest control. Grapes are usually harvested by hand or machine, depending on the scale of the vineyard and the desired end product. After harvest, grapes can be sold fresh, used to make wine, or processed into grape juice, raisins, or other grape-derived products. production process begins with the careful selection of saplings and proper preparation of the soil. After planting, maintenance operations such as pruning, irrigation, fertilization, and disease slash pest control are carried out regularly. When harvest time comes, ripe fruits are collected and the marketing process begins. In this process, fresh peach fruits can be offered directly to consumers or they can be processed into preserves, fruit juices, or other products. Seed buckthorn production involves rearing seed buckthorn larvae on special structures in clean and current coastal waters. After the larvae are placed on these structures, they grow by feeding on natural food sources. Throughout the process, water quality and the health of the seed buckthorn are closely monitored. When they reach the appropriate size, they are harvested, cleaned, and prepared to be presented to the consumer. This method supports the sustainable use of marine resources and preserves ecological balance. Date production begins with the care of date trees grown in hot and dry climates. Once the trees are planted, they are supported by regular watering and feeding. Pruning is done to increase fruit yield. 
When the dates are ripe, they are usually picked by hand, sorted by quality, and packaged. Finally, packaged dates are sent to markets to be delivered to consumers. Production of red pepper flakes consists of planting the peppers, harvesting them when ripe, drying them in the sun or by machine, and finally grinding and packaging them. This process ensures that the pepper reaches the kitchen while preserving its flavor, color, and bitterness. Cherry cultivation begins in select soil conditions and continues with the planting of saplings. These seedlings need plenty of sunlight and well-drained soil. Pruning and pest control are important for the healthy growth of trees. Flowering occurs in spring and fruit development begins as a result of pollination. In summer, the fruits reach full maturity and are ready for picking. After picking, the cherries are sorted according to their quality, packaged and marketed for fresh consumption. These steps complete the cherry's journey from field to table. Cucumber production begins with sowing seeds, which are planted in well-drained soil with plenty of sunlight. Cucumber plants prefer warm climate conditions and require regular watering. As plants begin to develop, they need support structures. This keeps the fruit above the ground, reducing the risk of disease and making harvest easier. production begins with the planting of banana plants that thrive in tropical and subtropical climates. These plants prefer high humidity and temperature and need plenty of water. Banana plants are grown healthily with soil preparation and appropriate irrigation methods. As the plants grow, they are protected from external factors such as wind by connecting them to support structures, ensuring proper growth.
Peach production begins with planting saplings in suitable soil and requires plenty of sunlight. Seedlings are grown with regular watering and feeding. By pruning trees, they are ensured to grow healthy and bear fruit efficiently. Peach trees that bloom in spring begin to bear fruit after pollination. The fruits ripen and are harvested in the summer. After harvest, peaches are selected, packaged, and marketed for fresh consumption. This process completes the peach's journey from field to table. Apple production begins with the planting of carefully selected saplings, which are resistant to cold and prefer a certain type of climate. Seedlings are grown in soil that receives plenty of sunlight and is well-drained. Regular watering and nutritional supplements are necessary for healthy growth of young trees. As trees grow, pruning is done to increase productivity and prevent diseases. production begins with selecting a suitable area for these plants that love acidic soil. Soils with an ideal pH value of 4.5 to 5.5 are necessary for the healthy growth of blueberries. Seedlings are planted in spring after the danger of frost has passed. Plenty of water and sunlight are important for the development of young plants, so regular watering and good location selection are essential. Nowadays, growing your own carrots is a very enjoyable and rewarding process. Agricultural machinery supports us. Modern agricultural machinery comes into play for large-scale carrot production. These machines make work easier at many stages, from PL. We will focus on the intricacies of growing peanuts and the importance of modern agricultural machinery in this process. Modern agricultural machinery is introduced for large-scale peanut production. In a series of stages from planting to harvest, agricultural machinery makes work easier and increases efficiency.
In spring, potato seeds are planted at the determined depth. Modern agricultural machinery increases planting efficiency by speeding up the sorting process at this stage. When it's harvest time, agricultural machinery comes into play. Potato harvesters dig into the soil, bring the potatoes to the surface and sort them automatically. This increases efficiency by saving labor. Sorting and classification harvested potatoes are passed through sorting and classification machines. These machines classify potatoes according to their size and ensure quality control. Corn plants grow healthily with regular watering and appropriate fertilization. Drip irrigation systems and fertilizing machines make this process effective and efficient. As a result, corn production is a complex process and modern agricultural machines can make this process more efficient and effective. It ensures that healthy and delicious corn reaches our tables. Dear viewers, now we will focus on the production process of sugar beet, one of the sweet corners of our tables, and the agricultural techniques used. When it's harvest time, agricultural machinery comes into play. Sugar beet harvesters cut and harvest the plants. Automated systems increase harvest efficiency and save labor. Agricultural machines are also used in soil care and rotational farming practices after sugar beet planting. These machines protect soil health and support sustainable agriculture. Onion plants grow healthily with regular watering and proper fertilization. Drip irrigation systems and fertilization machines make this process effective and efficient. When it's harvest time, agricultural machinery comes into play. Onion harvesters bring the plants to the surface and harvest them. Automated systems save labor and increase harvest efficiency. The harvested onions are passed through sorting and drying machines. These machines clean the onions separate their skins and leave them to dry. Pepper plants grow healthily with regular watering and proper fertilization. Drip irrigation systems and fertilization machines make this process effective. Harvested peppers are passed through sorting and classification machines. These machines classify peppers according to their size and ensure quality control.
Europa Mouse 6 is a self-propelled sugar beet harvester, which is an agricultural machine used to harvest sugar beets from fields. The Ropa Mouse 6 is produced by the German agricultural machinery manufacturer Ropa. The Ropa Mouse 6 is equipped with various components, including a digging unit, cleaning unit, transport conveyor, and a storage hopper. It is designed to harvest sugar beets efficiently and gently, minimizing damage to the beets and maximizing yield. By using Mixat's machines, farmers can benefit from reduced labor costs, increased crop yields, and improved soil health. Mixat's commitment to sustainability also helps farmers to reduce their environmental impact and promote sustainable farming practices. Tivil's robots use a combination of advanced sensors, machine learning algorithms, and computer vision to identify and pick fruit with precision and speed. The robots are also designed to work autonomously, without the need for human operators, which allows for 24-7 operation and increased efficiency. One of the key advantages of PlantMax's planters is that they are designed to be easy to use and maintain. The machines are equipped with advanced features, such as adjustable planting depth, which make it easy to customize the planter for different soil types and crops. Additionally, the company's machines are built with safety features to ensure the safety of the operator and bystanders. The Stinger Stacker 6500 is an agricultural machine used for stacking hay or straw bales. It is manufactured by Stinger Incorporated, a company based in the United States that specializes in the design and production of hay handling equipment. The Stinger Stacker 6500 is a self-propelled machine that can be operated by one person. It is designed to pick up bales of hay or straw and stack them in a neat and organized manner. The machine has a hydraulically operated grabber that can pick up one or more bales at a time, depending on their size and weight. The Asa Lift Cabbage Harvester is designed to gently harvest cabbages without causing damage to the crop. It is a self-propelled machine that can be operated by one person. The harvester has a conveyor belt that transports the harvested cabbages to a collection bin. The machine also has an adjustable harvesting depth to accommodate different cabbage varieties and soil conditions.
The Ploger AR4BX Potato Harvester is designed for efficient and gentle harvesting of potatoes. It is equipped with a number of features that allow it to harvest potatoes with minimal damage to the crop. These include a flexible separating system, adjustable digging depth, and various cleaning and sorting systems. The Vermland 6300 is designed to harvest grass and other crops for use as silage or animal feed. It is a trailed machine that is pulled behind a tractor and is equipped with a cutting head that can harvest crops at a consistent height. The machine has a number of features that allow it to efficiently and effectively harvest crops, including a variable speed rotor, adjustable feed rollers, and a hydraulically driven crop deflector. Tomato sauce production consists of several important steps. Ripe tomatoes are collected, washed, and sorted. They are then crushed to form a dough. The pulp is heated to break down cell structures and improve flavor. The sauce is then strained to remove the seeds and skin. Spices such as salt, sugar, and herbs are added to taste. The sauce is pasteurized for preservation and then packaged. It can be prepared as a simple tomato puree or used with additional ingredients for various types of sauces, such as marinara or ketchup. Growing and harvesting whole grain rice involves preparing the field, planting the rice, managing the crop for pests and diseases, and harvesting mature grains. After harvesting, the rice is threshed, dried, and milled to produce whole grain rice that is nutritious and suitable for cooking. Apple juice production begins with selecting, washing, and sorting ripe apples. Then the apples are crushed and the juice is extracted. It is usually pasteurized to kill bacteria and sometimes filtered for clarity. Sugar and preservatives may be added. The juice is then packaged into bottles or containers and can be processed into a variety of apple-based products. Producing corn harvest is a meticulous process that involves several important steps. 
First, corn fields are examined to ensure that the corn is at the optimal maturity stage. Once ready, special machines such as corn harvesters or harvesters are used to harvest the corn. Once harvested, corn can be used for a variety of purposes, such as animal feed, human consumption, or industrial processing. It is a vital product with a wide range of applications in the food, agricultural, and manufacturing industries. Sunflower oil production begins with growing sunflower seeds, which are harvested when ripe. The seeds are then cleaned, peeled, and crushed to extract the oil. This crude oil is then refined, neutralized, and duexed. After refining, various products such as edible oil or industrial ingredients are obtained. Soap production involves mixing fats or oils with an alkali, such as cod water, to form soap and glycerin through saponification. Additives, fragrances, and colors are added and the mixture is molded, cooled, and cut into bars. Some soaps require curing. The type of soap and ingredients used determines the process and final product. Flour production begins with grinding wheat grains into flour. The process involves cleaning, conditioning, and milling the wheat to separate the bran and germ from the endosperm. This refined endosperm is then ground into various flours such as all-purpose flour, bread, or cake flour. Flour may undergo additional processing such as bleaching or enrichment with nutrients, depending on the desired final product. Finally, the flour is sifted, packaged, and ready for distribution and use in various food applications. <laughs> 